Okay, I talk about this a lot. I've done the previous videos and I mention it in our live chats all the time. I'm talking about bulkresizephotos.com. This is not a sponsored or an affiliate video. I'm just telling you what I use on a daily basis. When you have images that you've collected for your website or from your client, I bet they're gonna be pretty big in size. They'll either be a PNG or a JPEG, 20 megabytes, believe me, we get images that are that big, five megabytes, one megabyte, two megabyte. You don't wanna be loading those big images onto your website. You might go, yeah, but I want the quality. You can get the quality with the smaller sized image as well, and you will be adding bloat, delay, and just clogging up your website when it loads up, especially if you've got a page with like 30, 40 images on. Bulkresizephotos.com is so amazing, and I use this more than compressedjpeg.com or tinypng.com or any of the WordPress plugins. Why? Number one, I'm reducing the amount of plugins on my website, and number two, tinypng, Compressed JPEG and other online platforms, they say you're allowed 10 or 20 images in any one go. I once put in 86 images into here and it did it within 20 seconds and it then downloads it for me. I'll come back onto the download part in a moment. This can handle it all. I'm just gonna drag into here an image and just show you how cool this is. I have an image. Okay, this is about 1000 by 1000 pixels and it's currently 1.1 megabytes. I'm gonna drop this image into here. Literally, you just drop it. There's nothing to install. You go to bulk size, bulkresizephotos.com and you have your screen, you just drop your images in. As soon as you do that, you're taken to this screen here and it sets it to 50% of the size, JPEG and image quality 80%. Don't look at that 80% and go, mm, I don't like that, I want 100%. 80% is totally fine. I do this all the time, it's absolutely fine. What you do wanna do though is maybe set it to be 100. Now, the only time when I would adjust that and maybe go for 50 or 60 or whatever, is if the image was like 4,000 you know, pixels wide. Why would you need an image that wide? But then again, you could also do that within WordPress Media Library as well. So have a think about how you want to do it. But I normally scale to be 100%. And here's the key, key bit with why I'm saying you need to use this, okay? This isn't just about compressing the images. This is about converting it into WebP. Loads of you out there are going to say, yeah, but not every device is WebP compatible. Actually, loads of them are. And if anyone's got an iPhone or using Safari or whatever, and they haven't updated in the last two years, then get up and start updating people. Stop wasting your time, okay? Because WebP is the way to go with image compression and just working on the web. Right, so this was a 1.1 megabyte image. That's all you do. You, it will automatically tick transparent background for you, so don't worry about that, and then you hit start. And this image, right, this is 1,000 by 1,000. When I stick it into WordPress Media Library, I'm gonna probably shrink it down to be about 300 by 300. So that size will come down, but you can do your scaling and your cropping in the WordPress Media Library. Don't waste your time doing that all now, just get your image compressed and converted. We've gone from 1.1 megabyte to 84 kilobytes. Just compress that for a moment. This was a PNG image. If you had converted it to JPEG, it would halve in size. It would still be 500 kilobytes. Look what we've done. We are less than 10% of what the original size of the image was, and it will shrink more in WordPress Media Library. But here's the really, really cool thing. I did this with 86 images. It automatically, once it's done this, has already sent it to my downloads folder. I don't have to hit download. Yes, it says download again, but it's already done it for me. This is super quick, super easy to use, and it's free. Bulkresizephotos.com Come. I hope you like, subscribe, share and follow and go and get converting.